Cleaning the surface of the substrate is essential before starting the application. Pour a small amount of 3M surface preparation system onto a lint-free cloth and wipe across the panel in a smooth action. To dry, use a separate lint-free cloth. You can also use a professional heat gun to remove final traces of solvents after drying. Having first positioned the film on the panel and secured it to the top with magnets, flip over the material to remove the liner. Separate it from the film and tuck under. Fold the film back and fix it to the side of the panel to prevent it slipping. Remove the magnets and then pull the liner out in one smooth action. This technique helps avoid trapping dust under the film. Start by fixing the film at the bottom of the panel using the recommended 3M Gold Squeegee with the soft, thin sleeve that applies the right amount of pressure. Then remove the film from the top of the frame, reposition and fix it. Apply and fix along the frame. The film is still loose inside the frame and does not yet adhere to the panel. Wet your glove and then apply heat to the film to achieve a surface temperature of about 50 degrees Celsius. This allows you to slide your finger on the film surface with pressure and low friction. Apply the heat to a wider area of the film in order to reduce the tension in the film and minimize the risk of overstretching. At the top, fix the film along the contours. Warm the film and start the application at the deepest point. Press the film to the recess with firm pressure whilst continuing to apply heat to a wider area of the film. Apply the film with your finger to the flat part along all recess edges. This allows overlapping strokes when later squeegeeing. Once the recess edges are complete, fix the film to the remaining flat area with high, even pressure. Apply with long, overlapping strokes and ensure that the squeegee is in constant contact with the film. The 3M Control Tech technology feature ensures that the film is flexible on the surface and sticks only when pressure is applied, whilst the 3M Comply Air Release feature allows the air to be easily removed without causing bubbles. Before post-heating, check that there are no air bubbles remaining between the substrate and the film by reheating with the heat gun. Any air bubbles that are detected can be removed using the air release tool and the film can be pressed to the substrate again. When the film has been checked, start post-heating of the film applied in the recess. Heat the film in the recess to a surface temperature of between 85 and 100 degrees Celsius and press the film again to the recess. If you apply too much heat to the film in the recess, friction increases when pressing the film and wrinkles may occur. To remove the wrinkles, take a loose strip of film, position it over the wrinkled film, apply pressure with your finger and lift the film completely from the substrate. Then apply heat to repair. Let the film cool down, reapply heat and repeat until all wrinkles are removed. Now reapply the film in the recess, use moderate heat to make the film conformable, wet the glove and slide your finger with pressure on the film.
If you apply the film too close in the recess, you'll create too much tension in this small amount of film. You may then get an unwanted, glossy finish inside the recess when conforming the film, and also run the risk of lifting defects.